Box 2 Box is back with another video Varvar, the new host What are we doing today? It's the holiday season I thought, hey, let's give Millie a day off Today, we're doing the grading of each team This season so far in the Premier League I'm excited for this one, and I'm excited to be next to you, Millie, because I've never seen this before. Holiday season, it's the middle of January. I didn't realize you're still in the festive spirit today, Varvar. I'm always in the holiday mood, Millie. This video is brought to you by today's amazing sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything. Your products, the content you create, and even your time. We'll give you a bit more info at the end of the video, but for now, let's get to the picks. Anyways, let's start. First team up, we're doing this in alphabetical order, by the way. Arsenal, Arteta's Reds, what grade are we giving them? Ferns, I'll let you do the honors. You think I'm gonna rate them high or low? I'm actually gonna rate them middle of the pack. I'm actually giving what? them B minus. B minus. B minus, Vavra, what are you giving them? <sighs> Look, they've had their ups. They've had their downs. They're in a down right now, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Very, very poor form for Arteta's men. But I'm still gonna say they've had a decent season. Above average, I'm gonna go C plus. C, C plus? That's C even lower than you. That's even worse than me. Yeah, because look, they they had expectations going into the season. That's my reasoning, is they were they were supposed to compete for the title. Right. And right now they're they're slipping back a little bit. But they're still there. Like they're still top three. Oh, for sure. They're still in the race. That just shows the quality. Is that the quality is there. They're still in they're still in the race and they haven't even been that good. That's it. Exactly. They're just That's not right. consistent enough. Yeah. But I mean, th those results that they had, like the, the Aston Villa result, like I didn't think they it knocked off their season, you know? So that's why I think they deserve like a B plus. B plus. B plus. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's because right. you expected nothing, I think, going into the season. <laughs> you know, it's Arsenal. In the we, end. we all had them either competing for the title or making making a CL spot. So yeah. the fact that they're even just struggling to compete for the title right now, yeah. like you can't give them higher than a B plus. You know what though? Like they're, the fact that they're struggling against Liverpool though, instead of Man City, that was like a bit unforeseen. So yeah. I don't know. Those were the grades for Arsenal. Now let's look at a past Arsenal manager, Unai Emery's team, Aston Villa. What grade are we giving them? This is a good one. They've had an amazing season that nobody expected. A fantastic. Season. Very good. And and in my opinion, that warrants an A+. A+, plus? for right now, mid-season grade, that has to be an A+. Plus. That's a bit too high, though. I, no. I Look, I, I agree, Firms. I think it is a, a, like plus. a, a smidge too high. I would say A. Yeah, I would say A. Considering the level that the team is at, and then the teams that they're competing against for yeah. a CL spot, yeah. uh, come on. A, this has to be an A+. Plus. A+, plus is Leicester like Ranieri run like that's a plus that's the thing if you look at the team sheet like the team is good you know like you're looks okay it's good no you it's not it's not players. city level liverpool level united of course level. not a plus is centurion city level yeah. like all-time team levels you but know? when i'm giving a grade i'm looking at the team and in in that context okay for aston villa this is an a plus for a city this is probably lower than that we'll get to that later though oh <laughs> i don't know like th they've had an excellent season do you think they're gonna make champions league I think that's one of the teams that next year you'll see in Champions League, but it's not gonna, it's gonna be like Newcastle this year. They'll just like fizzle out. But They'll just be there. Who's, which spot are they, which team are they kicking out of CL then, Barbara, for that fourth spot? Man City, I think Man City. No, uh, no, 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 no. Man City, Man <laughs> it's City. Ridiculous. It's gonna be Liverpool, okay. Arsenal, Aston Villa and Manchester United. Well, that's yeah. a really strong group of CL teams, man. That's gonna be top notch. Premier League's the best in the world. <laughs> Anyways, Barbara, let's continue. Everyone gave Aston Villa a high grade, deservedly so. Next one up is Bournemouth. And I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna give them a decent grade here. Well, I don't know why, when Barbara says decent, I don't know what he's decent like, means. He's like, I'm gonna give him a decent grade, D. D. As you can tell, as you can tell, I was not the best student in school because a, a B minus, I'll say, is a good, decent grade. I mean, I'm gonna give them a B. I agree with that. I'm gonna give them a B as well because in my preseason predictions, yeah. I gave them like, they would be like 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, in that top 10, mid yeah. table. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're uh, how do you say it? They're accepting and my- Yeah, they're exceeding your expectations. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mine too. That, those first couple of games under Iriola was so bad that, look, they weren't terrible, but the, the performances weren't there for the new manager and it goes into my grading. That's why I say B minus, but ever since those couple games, it's been like an A minus, I would say. 
And can a we minus. add? Oh man. Yeah, A minus is a bit uh, for, bit too for high. a team that's not even in top ten. A but minus. I'm saying the beginning of the season was not good. It was terrible. But since then, it's been like it's an improved. A minus, so it balances okay. out, you know. Yeah, no, it makes okay. Sense. But uh, I was gonna say, can we give credit to Ariola, that guy? Iraola. Iraola is the goalie. Oh, you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. the same person. In my yeah, life. basically the same person. This guy, first season in the Prem yeah. with Bournemouth. Like, that's that's a big achievement that he's doing. The fact I mean, that he's even getting points right now. That's what I'm like saying. Team is he has a good team, though. So. It is a good team. Next team up is the Bees. Brentford. What grade are we giving them? <laughs> They're not doing great. Not doing no. terrible. Like, They're just there. They've been getting wrecked by injuries this season and suspensions, but... Injuries and suspensions have derailed their entire season. They're they're still doing decent for what they've been given. Exactly. So for me, I don't agree. That's enough. For, that's enough for a pass for me. That's why I'm giving them a C plus because they're in context. Mm. They're doing well for what they got. And now Tony's back. So, I mean, we'll see what the second half has. For I, I'm gonna give them a C. I think their expectations haven't been met. And really? Yeah, I feel like the team is not really there. Like, there's no focal point except Tony, who's back. But. I don't know. Makes sense. I, I'm going to give them, I'm going to go higher than you guys. I'm going to give them a B because Thomas Frank has been able to stabilize the ship without Ivan Tony, one of the, dare I say, one of the best strikers in the Prem. Right now, yeah. That's crazy it's to say. It's not crazy to say. I don't think that's crazy to say. And on top of that, injuries to people like Embuemo and Wisa. I mean, how, how has he been able to steer the ship into 14th? That he's done enough to avoid relegation now. You That's know what I mean? Thing. So for me, I think that warrants at least a passing grade. But looking in the future, I think he's going to be in the relegation zones. I don't believe he's going to... Like, look at... As Varvar said, They just the got Ivan Tony back. Why would they be in a relegation battle? Because Tony alone is not enough. He is. That's I why don't think so. he's on a, like almost on a 100 million euro player. I think that's that's so overpriced. That's ridiculous. That's the striker market, man. If you want a top striker like Ivan Tony, it's going to cost. Anyways, I, I, I'm going to give them a C, as I said, but Tony, wow, well, he's overrated. Varvar, give us the next team. Brentford is off the board. Next one up, Brighton, the Zerbi's men. What grade are we giving them? I'm giving them Brighton. I'm giving them a straight B. Okay, yeah. I think considering that they lost most of their key players over the summer, they've done well enough, but I think there were people thinking that they were going to make Champions League spots, mm. Europa League spots, so... I might have been one of those yeah, people. Yeah, you were, were one of those people for him. <laughs> don't, don't cap. Yeah, that's why I'm going to give them like a B-, minus, maybe even a C, because the Zerbi, like, as you said, he lost some key players, but he hasn't proven enough. You don't think? I think mm. he's done great for what he's had. Firms, look at what he's been given, okay? He was given Moises Caicedo, balled out shipped them out they're, they're evan ferguson started the year injured i mean like it, it, where is the talent coming he's doing the most with what he's being given exactly he lost McAllister as well yeah, hey, yeah these are key players that he lost and he's still in the top an 10. entire midfield he basically lost exactly and he's still competing for a top 10 spot so but i think that's pretty solid ultimately like if you look at the games some games he's balling out and some games is just a disaster it's an inconsistency yeah like with arsenal they didn't beat arsenal like 3-0 i mean it games like that happen they yeah. they there's highs and then there's lows with brighton there's high highs and low lows but, but at the end of the day eighth eighth place for brighton fighting for conference league that's still a good that's an season. achievement yeah but the high highs are good but the low lows are like how could you allow that you so, know so the zerby's issue is that he can't he can't basically keep the ship calm yeah it's like a consistency it's always issue rocking. It's always like, rock yeah I get it, but I mean a B is a B is, is solid. I'm, I'm going I'm going B minus. I'm gonna yeah. go B minus because I think like could have been better, but it's still decent. I would still say it's a decent season. That's what I'm saying. B minus. They're gonna sell another player for about hundred million next season. So like Evan probably Ferguson, 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 probably yeah. like 150. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> you guys are overpricing all these strikers. I can't believe it. It ain't me. I've never realized how many teams in the Prem starts with the letter B. Next team up. Is Burnley, Vincent Company's men. What grade are we giving them? Vincent Company's men haven't been showing up. Like, at, at all. all. At all. For me, this is the first F really on the report card. I'm not but even I'm gonna joking. give F also because there's nothing there. Yeah, but guys, it's it's a new uh promoted team. Like, what can you expect from they them? They came you in know? with the most hype out of all the exactly. promoted teams. But hype doesn't mean like he has to prove that hype, you know? Yeah, but no, I'm pretty no. sure you put them almost like I did. I did yeah, mid-table. But I did put them mid table. But we, put, we all put them lower mid table. You know, but what I, mean? I didn't. We weren't, we weren't expecting them to get relegation. Uh, I don't, I don't speak remember. For yourself, you I don't remember. For yourself. I, that's just me. That's just me. The style of play that company wants to play does not translate with the players he has. Exactly. So it's just 
disconnected and it's just not a prem level team he, so he has not adapted well to the prem which is kind of shocking because he's one of the best prem defenders of all time that's what i'm saying but you think it's his fault or burnley not being competitive enough i in mean the prem? once you're in the prem you have to understand the people that you're playing man you have to have that level if sean dice had that team is he is he not getting relegated no he's about to i don't know he's about his way to, to a safe zone yeah I don't exactly know. Uh, listen, Sean I think Dyche would, would not get relegated with that team. He, I, he I think finished mid table with worse, bro. I don't know. That's why I'm going to give them like a C minus, but we're, we're getting C minus. Yeah. That adds way too high. They're For a team that was not supposed to be in a relegation zone, you're giving them a C What do you mean? Like, that's ridiculous. They are in relegation zone because they're not up to standards. But their standard was higher. That's why I'm giving them an F. The Barbara. grade is compared to expectations. So I'm also going to go with F because the expectation from all these hipsters was that Burnley's going to finish mid table. I don't even know if company's gonna finish the season, man. But he anyways. won't. I would sack him. I, pff, Who do you get? You're Burnley. It's not like you could uh, go and get a Pep. Jose so Mourinho, bro. That that's yeah, right perfect away. level for Jose Mourinho. Yeah. Far, far, what's the next team? Speaking of Jose Mourinho, next team up, Chelsea. What what grade are we giving them? A very low one, the, unfortunately. This, uh, very low. The lowest. Really? This is another F. Oh my God, yes. Millie. Yes. I honestly, no I'm way. not a Chelsea sympathizer. I'm giving it a C minus. I think it's it's for the expectations. It's Barbara. not look. Some some people had top four expectations for Chelsea. Uh, Barbara, when you spend that type of money, top four is minimum. I'm sorry, top is minimum. Mm. But it's a process. Like the the nine hundred. I I I don't agree with the process, but it is a process. So I personally, I'm gonna say C minus. I think Pochettino's doing. A bit less than what I expected of it. I think he's doing a lot less what everyone expected. I don't. He cannot yeah. manage that locker room whatsoever. And he hasn't been good. Like, he's not been good. It, nothing has been clicking. The players have not been clicking. There are some moments where the team looks good, but you can't. Like, when you he spend that money, right, you can't man. just look Millie, good. But he has yeah. stabilized it a I don't bit. think so. I think he has. Like last year, I don't think you guys remember how bad Chelsea were. Oh, no, I like, think I think people understand that Chelsea's actually doing better than last year. Yeah. This year, performance-wise, it's way better than last year. Like they're still putting in some decent performances. Last year, there were no performances. There was nothing. Yeah. It was just nothing like it was just it was an nothing. oblivion of of talent like it was just a graveyard of talent like just the fact that they have these top top players yeah from a, a year ago and yeah. it looks abysmal in yeah. my opinion like, when you have that level of talent you have to do better yeah i'm gonna give him an f2 because i think although they've had some good moments like against big teams for some reason like they always show up against big teams they like you can't like come on it's chelsea like you're better than that i even like chelsea and how they used to play you know how could you like just fall off so hard they just don't have an identity right now that's yeah that's there's an identity crisis there's no one to look forward to like, i disagree Cole i disagree i just i see some progress like like cole palmer yes in itself would be another reason not to give f just him would be a reason mm. not to give f not enough Th no. he brings you up to a d minus but no there, there's We're making upgrades now. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it could it could be better, but it's 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 below average in my opinion. So what's the grade you're giving them? Like final C minus. Grade? I said C minus. C minus. That's a C bit C high. Maybe D plus, but I'll stick to C minus. C minus. I'm still giving them an F. Me too. Vava, give us the next team. The next team up is Crystal Palace. What grade are we giving to Roy Hodgson's men? Nothing special with Crystal Palace right now. I'm no. giving them a straight C. Yeah. But they've done well, not great. Uh, just nothing really special with the team right now. I'm going to give them a C minus. We're in that range because I don't think there's like you got Olize, you got Eze. Come, like do something, you know? Okay, but I, no, no one's scoring. I think you guys are being generous with your score, to be honest, because oh, you I, I, I think Crystal Palace has massively, massively underwhelmed this season. And For real. they have good players, but what else? You know, like, like, the, the, when do these good players actually turn into like that Brighton push? That's or that what I'm agree. seeing. For I me, agree. it's a D because oh. I think this year every every single person thought Crystal Palace is going to be better than they actually are. So I'm going to give D. They're I, always they're always a mid table club though. They, they are a mid table club. Yeah. That's why like a C for me is okay because yeah. they, they're where they should be exactly. at the end of the day. But they do have the talent to be better. They're just no one's scoring, no one's producing. It's just all yeah. over the look, place. Right look now. at the names and like they signed Mateus Franca this summer from Brazil what's he done? Nothing. And then you have players like Eze, you have players like Olize, Gehi, Anderson, who are all top players, and then you're ending up still lower mid-table. That's just very 
depressing. It's, so it's bland. It's very yeah. like, still bread. Do you <laughs> think it, Palace is still bread? Legit. And mid table, like it's just there. But do you think Hodgson is a problem? Yes. I yeah. think if they got a more expansive manager, they would be better. But I guess I guess we'll never know. Like someone like Dzerbi at Crystal Dezerbi Palace would go. No, right Dzerbi's better at Brighton. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying someone like Dzerbi with Gehi, Anderson, as in Olizi, you might actually cook. Just just bring in a young Italian coach and you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, you're good to go. Next team up is Everton. Keep in mind, they had a 10 point deduction. So keep that in your grades. Firms, that's exactly why I'm giving them a B plus because okay. they, they have actually exceeded expectations. In yes. What's sad is that they might get another 10 point deduction. Yeah, they're that getting relegated really after that. If they no, get another- I think, that, I think if they even get more deductions, Sean Dyche has been playing so good. I'm not going to say nice. He's been playing good. I think they I think they would still be relegation. That's part of my report card so too. Sad. Sean Dyche has brought them back to basic footy. Yeah. Just get the points and get out of there. And he's given them an identity. Simple, do this and, and get the W, you know? It's just Everton fans aren't seeing their team play with the ball. But I mean, listen, they get the points. It, I have, I, it works. I, I feel like Sean Dyche was like filled that missing void at Everton where Everton was just buying players to buy players before. Yeah. Like, there wasn't an actual plan. Exactly. Now there's an actual plan. They know how the manager wants to play and he's playing that exact style with the players he wants. So yeah. I think I'm going to go A minus. I'm going to say A minus. I'm okay with Very that. good. Because I was thinking A minus as well, just because you have so many problems with the club, the stadium, the revenues. Like It's stuff that has nothing to do with exactly. the football. Exactly. And this guy, the coach, he's just dialed in. Exactly. He, he gets those Ws against big teams too. And you know, they're he's playing. Competing. Yeah, he's competing. Listen, Sean Dyche and Everton, the players, B plus. Yeah. Everything else about Everton, F. F, Huge F, F minus, 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 minus. Yep. Next team up, the team of one of the Man United cult heroes, the preseason Pirlo, Andreas Pereira, Fulham. Where are we going? What grade? He always find a way yeah. to hype something up. Oh, brother. This man was the preseason Pirlo. Every preseason he turned into Pirlo and then first game of the season, Back to Andreas Pereira. But listen, Fulham, they, they're where we expected them to be. Yeah, I think we all predicted them to be like 13, 14 in, around in there. In this area. So yeah. for me, I think that's a good grade B plus. Yeah. Nothing really special with the team, but they're playing, they're playing just, decent it's, ball. It's just depressing because Fulham were pushing higher and higher in the table, like for ninth, eighth place last season. And then this year, like because they lost Mitrovic, like it's just not the same. It, it's 13th, 14th, like they're bouncing around lower bottom mid table. I'm going to say a C plus because I think the manager's still doing well with what he's been given. That's a bit too low. I I'm going to go low because they had a yeah. really strong December. They were winning games. Yeah, they, they had a rough start, but they were winning games. Yeah. yeah, but they're winning games. But how are they winning games? You know, like it's it's not convincing man. For these teams, three points is three points. It doesn't really matter how you get the points. Yeah, but them. last year they were on a similar trajectory as Aston Villa, I find. And they kind of fell off. Exactly. Way I, harder. Uh, I, exactly. But if they don't sell Mitrovic this summer, and they they're not like Jao Palinha is not trying to leave like yeah, this team could have pushed for an ass not, maybe not Aston Villa type season but maybe sixth place fifth place yeah definitely like an upgrade that's why I'm gonna give them a B I think it's fair for their season that they're having they haven't underachieved and they haven't overachieved like they're they're just there but they've you know? done well enough to get the points exactly in my opinion, so. exactly the next team up is a title contender dare I say sadly title contender next team up is Liverpool what grade are we giving them. Very high. I Very think A+. Plus. I was going to say A+, plus as well. Yeah. It pains me to say. It very much pains me to say. I'm going to I'm not saying A+, plus because like you said A+ plus has to be top top season. I'm giving them apparent. I'm giving them an A- minus because they they've exceeded my expectations, that's for sure, because I I think I I would need to go back, but I don't even think I had them in Champions League. And then the only thing that's an A minus is that like they're not in they're not in Champions League this season, so it's not like Arsenal where they have to play their yeah. starters every game. They're only focusing on the league. I, I get basically. it, but it's not necessarily their fault. Like it's not their fault. Yeah, that they're it's performing not. Well yeah. Without Champions. yeah, but then they go to like Uzbekistan and they can play their their midweek and they can play their backup team, so they get the rest in. You know, we'll see. We'll see over this next little period with Mo Salah that hamstring injury at Afcon. Like we'll see. We'll see. But what I like about Liverpool this year is that everyone hated on them. Like, like the Trent hate. We all said, yeah. I, think, I think we basically I think we all said <laughs> that we were one of the haters, yeah. honestly, that Klopp was going to get exactly. sacked Klopp season. sacked. First one sacked. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, put my, I'll put my hands up. Trent, I'm sorry. I, I You, you are an be. amazing player. You have your you have your strengths and your weaknesses, but you're an amazing player and Jurgen Klopp. He's that guy. 
He's, he's doing great. Right he's he's done so well with the new players that exactly. he's brought in. Everyone thought that there was going to be this huge downfall. Yeah. Like from Liverpool 1.0 to Liverpool 2.0, yeah. and they they've just been showing up pretty much every game now. And yeah. I'm I'm honestly shocked that they're first right now. I'm I didn't shocked even, as I well. I didn't have them in my top four. But just thinking about it, like last year, title contenders for this year would be Man City and Arsenal. Nobody talked about Liverpool. None of them. So, but that, but that warrants it, an A plus. You have to also put into context that Liverpool season they're having. Like, if there was a team like Man City of like the last couple of years, they wouldn't really be in the title charge. Liverpool season, they be competing compared though. to the history of the Premier League, like they're not a strong leader right yeah, now. Yeah, but that's all hypothetical. You're taking one team from one year, and putting it to another. Like right now, you have to compare. I'm being with the realistic. That is that what they're on pace for? Like eighty something points? It's not that good but of what, a season what like it's good say? it's good in context but what does that say with the other teams then City Arsenal United Chelsea yeah like City would be like an F basically this would be an F to them I'm, I'm not saying that me neither I didn't say that yeah <laughs> but like you can't you can't disregard Liverpool's play right now they're playing yeah. really good football so mm. I think an A plus is, is a solid grade Factos. now let's go to London's finest team Luton Town what grade are we giving them I didn't even know they were from London until now. <laughs> I think they're from London. I don't know. I'm. You well, let me know. You guys let me know in the comments. We'll, we'll, well do some clearly, research about it. He's not from the, the ends. Yeah, he doesn't know about that. <laughs> I'm not a bad man from the ends. Oh, oh my lord. Anyways, Luton. <laughs> it's hard to grade them because they're like such a like relegation team. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm cutting you off. I'm gonna say it. A plus. I'm giving no. them a plus. What? No. Seventeenth with Luton Town. That's a crazy season. Look at them. Look at the budget. Look at the stadium. That's an A-plus no. season. If they stay in the Prem, they're, right now they are A-plus. Wait a minute. Okay. What? I'm not going to disagree with him in the fact that they're, they're having a good season. Yes. Like a great season for yes. their standards. But A-plus is absolutely Only A-plus I'm giving today. It's the only no. A-plus. Wasn't this the same guy that was saying the, uh, to be an A-plus, you got to be a Centurion. Centurions? In Honestly, for what their expectations were, this is Centurions level. Cent so my I'm giving them a B plus because Fair. There pe there's people out there that actually thought Luton wouldn't get any points this year. Just finishing no, 19 for me for Luton would have been a B plus. Like, I'm, but I'm giving them a B plus. Not being last would have been B plus. But I think out I, of relegation, you guys are yeah. over overrating their season. I'm gonna I, go no. B. No, like, I think B that team, maybe B minus. That team is probably one of the worst Premier League teams, like squad ever. squad Agreed. wise, yeah. one of the worst ever, and they're still getting points. Agreed. There's two teams below them. That's that's how good they've been playing. But who's the teams below them? It's Everton. No, no, no. Everton's above. It's Burnley and Sheffield. So Burnley and Sheffield, like Sheffield. I don't know. Oh, no. That might change my... They're still in relegation then. That's what I'm saying. Millie, Millie fed me false information, by the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so then I'm going to go... Since they're not out of relegation, I'm still going to give... I'm giving them an A. I'm giving them an A. You know what? That's still too high. But if you check the table, they're about one or two points off of the safe zone. So okay. they're right there. But when Everton get that next 10 point deduction, then it's an A plus. Then it's an A plus. Okay, oh so it's to be reviewed. So we're banking on other teams to fail like that. So that... Listen, honestly, for the team that they are, I think an A or a B plus is, is the right grade for them. They've yeah. done over and above what they were supposed to. Fair enough. All this Centurion talk, Man City talk, led us to Manchester City. What grade are we giving them? B plus. B, I think that's honestly a little too high. I'm giving them a B. Too low. For expectations, honestly, for expectations for this season, yeah. coming off of a treble, yeah. to be that, I'm giving them a C plus. No, I, that's not. I, no. I don't contest that. For, how, contest for that. how the Premier League has shaped up, the title race right now on projection of like 80 something points, the bar is so high for Manchester City, 80 points is not a good season. But that's what I'm saying. Like the bar is so high because they just won a treble. So like you have to lower your expectations. You, they can't reachieve no. that. You know what I'm saying? No, they, if anything, they should be even closer to reachieving that because no. now that team knows how to win. They know how to win a treble now. They didn't change that team. I one, th one thing I'm going to give them though is KDB injury. Exactly. And Haaland has been pretty injured. And Rodri. The season. Ro Rodri missed oh, a couple boy. games here or there. It's just because Those Rodri's were never games. injured. That's, That's No, Rodri, we're not counting. I just, I just don't think this has been a consistent season for City. This isn't the do the most dominant John City Stones. I've don't seen. John Stones. Yeah, okay. The, listen, the injuries, you could take account into the injuries, but still, that team is built to last a full season, 60 games. Are we taking into account injuries for next team also? Or just, uh, just, no. Okay, no, we okay, won't okay, be. Okay. <laughs> it, only, it only works for Manchester City. Okay, I got it. It only works yeah, for Manchester exactly. City. But 
Listen, I think a B is a solid. Yeah, for them. I think Pep is doing a great job and I think he's going to win the league again. So I no. think they're going to win the league also because yeah. they can just rip off like 20 wins in a row and that's then it. The, the, the title race is done. That's like, it. My for March. me, they're the, they're the least scariest defending Prem team I've ever seen. One of them. Defending? I mean, yeah. Excluding Leicester. What do you mean scary? If I was another team, I'm not pulling up the city and being as scared as I was last season. Oh, I think they are. I don't think so. At all. I think there's an aura with Man City. I think every team could go into Millie, the you're Etihad. an Inter fan. You, how do you know what it feels like? <laughs> because me as a Manchester United fan, almost beat I go into Man City away hopeless. The 20, 30 minutes into that CL final, I thought we were going to win that game. I thought, I thought we were going to so win. Also, My brother. I thought Come so on. also. It's wild. Listen, City aren't as dominant as they as they were last season or the season before that. So uh, but I think a B right That's now. the thing. They give you the hope. They're like, here, you could, uh, Liverpool, go ahead. Yeah, but be deliver first for on a that bit. Hope. And deliver then, but that's, boom, that's all part of Pep's thing is that he gets players into fitness at peak times, like when they should be in fitness. Exactly. So it might be coming around the time where Man City just rip off 20 wins in a row. So they and do then, it every year. And then there's like ballers like Oscar Bob that just pull up out of nowhere. Here, it's going to be like a, a 50 million. Uh, yeah, 50 million dollars. Chelsea like, are already looking to buy him for 50 mil, probably. But for the first half of the season, they just have not been that champion level. In With my that, opinion. I agree. That's why uh, I think B, B plus is a good rating. The time has come. It's Manchester United time. What grade are we giving them? You know, I can. You know, I can. You know, I can. I think what's what's above F? D minus. D minus? I'm going to go with D minus. They, the reason why I'm not giving them F is because of the injuries. I think that's a good point to bring up because they've had so many injuries. Generational that, amount of injuries. Factos. Oh my goodness. But it's still horrible. Like, yeah. Oh, I agree. I Even agree. if they didn't have injuries, I think they would have still been, uh, still been horrible. Look, you guys, this is the first time you're ever going to hear this out of my mouth. We are not good. Okay, I will just I will just say it. That's I crazy. can still see us making top four. Oh, don't, don't keep, keep that in mind. We can just go and win a couple of games in a row. He thinks he's gonna pull a City Centurion twenty one. It ain't happening. No it ain't happening. But I do agree. Up to now, it's been I would say a D plus. Listen, because the injuries were so bad. What well, weren't the plus though? The, the injury, like. Like the plus is the injury. The, the plus is the injuries. But it's so actually the many. infirmary sign. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the club doctors get the plus. I'm actually giving them a C minus. I'm going a little Millie, higher. Millie, what? C minus? For C what? Minus. Millie, you're putting me to shame. My, my, you're putting my bias to shame. Listen, I don't. The team itself should have done better. We all had higher expectations for them. I had them second. Barbara had them second. I had them like fifth. Just sixth. off. Of I that, had them first. Just off of that. <laughs> <laughs> As well. <laughs> just off of that, that should warrant an F. But, exactly. But injuries and just all the drama around the club. New like owners. It, like, yeah, yeah, there's there's so much stuff happening behind the scenes that affects the play. Like, it's not necessarily the player's fault. It, mind you, it is most of it. Well, but it's not all their fault. But, but you're talking about all these negatives. Where's the positives? Well, the positive is that the players like Bruno Fernandez. We're still somewhat in a top four battle. Yeah, like, like somewhat. Somewhat. They're, they're still a big... couple points away from being in that CL spot, but I mean, they're not out of the race completely. The positives is that we are, are somewhat in the CL race and we haven't even played well, like at all, like this season. So imagine if you played well. Exactly. And that's my point exactly, is that the players are there. Like there's the foundations are there. It's there's nothing no has clicked this season. I, I think I think Garnacho Garnacho's been like like a focal point for this season. Very that's good. a problem when Garnacho is the focal point. Garnacho yeah, this season has improved massively. Uh, Rashford is your focal point. Bruno is your focal point. Yeah, but if you're looking at positive points from the season, I think Garnacho is a positive point. I think Hoyland, despite not having the best goal sure. record, is somewhat a positive point because he's developing. He's showing that he could be a good player. But then you got people like Sancho, that $120 million signing that just bring your entire of club course, brother in Christ. If we if we mention <laughs> brother in Christ, if we mention, did you even mention Sancho during the pre? Is he relevant? Is he relevant to our team or our season this season? He is still supposed to be a focal point of that team. So bring that up in the 2019 grading, not the 2023 grading. I'm still gonna bring it up because it's part of the season. Listen, most of the key players have been been playing poorly but you know mcguire's been playing better recently onana listen onana's onana horrible it is what it is uh, he's not been horrible bro. He, he hasn't been horrible. been horrible he hasn't been great but i think a c minus depend considering everything i think that's okay the mattress united talk is over for this season thank you next team up though is nottingham forest what grade are we giving them 
Another one that's like been very underwhelming for the considering the, how much they've spent. You think it's underwhelming? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go like a C minus. I'm gonna go with a D because yeah. the amount they've spent compared to their colleagues like around the same level is peaks, peaks above them. Whether you're bearing the cold, sitting on your throne, huh? or chilling in the comfort of your own home. Well, Squarespace makes it easy for you to build and manage your own website with just a couple clicks. Want to sell merchandise online? Squarespace has you covered. Want to engage with your users? Squarespace also has you covered. When we signed up for Squarespace, we were able to make a mock-up of our website in the same time it takes for us to record a whole video. The designs are sleek and easy to edit to personalize for your own use. It also has great analytics to go along with its usability. You can learn where your website traffic is coming from and build a marketing plan based on your top keywords, content, and products. You can also use the great blogging services that they offer. Let people know of your stories, photos, videos, or updates so that your users can stay up to date on what you're doing and what you're planning. If this is useful for you, then head over to squarespace.com to build your own website with the free trial that they offer. When you're ready to launch, then go to squarespace.com slash box to box to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. I think they went up at the same time as Bournemouth and exactly. not even spent nearly as much money as Bournemouth and look at, yeah. and they spent way more than Bournemouth and look at where Bournemouth are and look at where Nottingham Forest are. I mean, it's just not been a good season. And, and it's weird because the signings they've made are, are decent. It's just... There, there's no identity again like there's, there's no okay. play going on listen if you look at the season like the summer before they brought yeah. in 21 players like obviously that's going to change the whole culture of your team fox and most of those players haven't lived up to expectations yeah. like nottingham forest they're they're mid lower but they're there's some there's level. some baffling decisions like buying matt turner from arsenal yeah the guy nice. the guy is horrendous like he's not good like yeah. i could have told you that he, he's just <laughs> He's not good. And you pay some scout to tell you that. And then sacking Steve Cooper. Okay. If you want to sack your manager, bringing in Nuno Espirito Santo. What, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. Listen, I Honestly, I would give them a C. Because I think the team, they honestly, they've pulled out insane results. They've beaten West Ham United. I think this season. Not difficult to do. Not difficult, but those are top clubs. Those are teams that, if you look, they should have lost. So... I think the fact that they're taking points off of some top clubs, like warrants at least a couple points on that report card. That's why I think C's okay. Next team up is Newcastle. Look, I don't know what the grades are going to look like here. Maybe not too good. What grade are we giving them? Once again, not good. I'm going to go with a C minus. Ooh. Yes, because they've not lived up to their expectations. They were so overrated before the season. I think I was part of the, the people I, overrating I think them. Everyone overrated them. Yeah. Everyone overrated, at least said Champions League spot. Exactly. Champions League or Europa League spot. L look, one thing I got to give them is if you're bringing up injuries for Manchester United, you also got to bring up injuries for Newcastle because they've been decimated by injuries. For me, I'm giving them a C because they've done enough to pass, but. Any more future poor performances after this second half season, like it's an F. Exactly, because opinion. I find it's it's such like a, a a step back from last season if they get like eighth or ninth, because yeah. the they, expectations they so are top high, four. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and also Eddie Howe hasn't been like coaching that team well. Yeah, I just don't think the squad is built to play that three games a week that the Champions League schedule forces you to play. Yeah, so I'm going to go with a C minus also because I, I just... I, I think it's been an okay season for what's happened in the season injury-wise. At least one thing that they've been doing good is people like Gordon, uh, Miley. Th they've been coming up clutch for a club that... But there's been some terrible performances. Oh, like the one against abysmal. Liverpool was abysmal. Like one of the worst Premier League performances I've ever seen. Like you're watching that, yeah. you're thinking like these are Premier League players. Yeah, exactly. So that has to go into... I'm Look, the C-... minus. Might oh, get a bit lower, but I'll stay C minus. Then there's people, there's uh, performances like the one against Man City that was pretty good. Yeah, but they balance out, you know. Yeah. To a C minus. C minus. See, I'm gonna stick with my C. Vavar, what's the next team? Next team up, Sheffield United. What grade are we giving them? If you're the worst team in the Premier League, and you are at the bottom, it's an F. Gar it I don't care what you say. I'm not gonna listen. It's an F. That means your expectations are being met, though. It. 
firms, when you're looking at the team, it, for this, I'm not even looking at my expectations. They're at the bottom. They're the least amount of points. It's an F. It's because they're they table wise, they're last, but yeah. also performance wise, they're last. Like it, it's just, I have seen no hope. I'll give them a D. I think it's like, what, what can you expect from them? You know, so let's so let's say you're the dumbest kid in class and you get the lowest grade in the class. Is the teacher going to say, well, you are the dumbest kid in the class, so I'm going to give you a little bit higher of a grade. No, you're going to get an F because you're the dumbest kid with the Maybe worst you mark. you get some charity points, the bonus question or something like that. Like, listen, from experience, I know you get the <laughs> lowest grade. <laughs> I'm going to say D minus just because. Manchester United beat them, so they gave us free points, you know? So D minus. Yeah, they're literally fodder, like just free points. Foddering on place for them too, so free fodder. <laughs> As I think I think for me, F, no ifs, ands, or buts. I only deal in absolutes. It's an F. The next team up is Tottenham Hotspur. What what grade are we giving them? This team was a little overhyped in my opinion. And? Still giving them a B plus though. Okay. Um, I have to agree with Millie. I think right now they're they're the most overhyped team in the Premier League as of right now. Oh, so so we agreed with my overhyped statement, but not my grades. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a I'm honestly they're overhyped because people would probably say A plus, but I'm gonna give them a B plus. I think A plus is ridiculous. That is not even well, in my uh, mind for an A plus. Nobody would say A I was, plus. I was recently in London. And the and vibe was giving me an A plus vibe. The vibe was giving me an A plus vibe. Yeah, that's what Ange Ball does. It was an A plus vibe. I'm sure the vibes are A plus. That, that's what Ange Ball does to you, man. Yeah, you I would give the them culture. an I would give them an A minus. No. Yes, because no. yes, because these guys, where where did you put them before the season? You know, new I, manager. I put them. New, where are they though? Where they're are there. they? They're they're top where six seven. Oh. Uh, that's where we put them. They have not exceeded expectations and they haven't like been worse than what we thought they were going to be. Like, well, okay, like listen, giving, giving somewhat of an A grade and you're not even in Champions League spots is like baffling. But they, they weren't sense. expecting that. You know, it's a new manager, new season, new players. So B plus. You did, and you're doing injuries. very good for the new manager. But keep that in context for the new manager. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I, I disagree. B plus is a, is a very reasonable grade for them. Listen, they lost Harry Kane. Exactly. Like, Human Son, Human Son's their main guy now, but also their new signings, James Madison, Vicario's been that number one for them too. So like overall, the team's playing well. The Ange Ball's built that culture, but that's not an A to me if you're not in Champions League. But they've had injuries. So why give, uh, uh, what was it, Manchester Every United the plus? Every season basically has, in, yeah, has exactly. had injuries. Exactly. Just, so they've not in. had generational injuries. But also well, the They depth, play one like, game Tom, a week also. They Tom, don't play in yeah, CL. Exactly. And Tottenham doesn't have that Euro depth. Euro they don't have the same depth as, let's say, a City or a Liverpool. Because I think it's the first year of their rebuild, and it's going great yeah, for the first year. Good. Now, great. now the report card next year is going to be off the charts. Then yeah. I'm expecting at least top two. Then I'm the expecting a playing. top four next year. If this is how they look this year, top four is. They're ready to be disappointed. Bro. Yeah, we'll see. A huge disappointment. Since I like using this word so much now, this is the penultimate team up the irons, West Ham. What grade are we giving them? I mean, I think Varvar found a new thesaurus behind that bar. Yeah, he did. Goodness gracious. I mean, Millie, you always know me. I've, I've always been one for the books. I left the book there for you, Varvar. Don't yeah. worry. And the report cards. And the report. Well, listen, West Ham, I'm actually giving them a high grade. I'm giving me them too. an A minus. Yes, good one. They I, have exceeded I agree. all expectations. I am a minus. I agree completely, Millie. I'm, I'm glad we all agree. Yeah. This is fantastic. This is easy. This is the first one in the video, I think, no, where we all agree. No, we definitely agreed one or the other. No, one. all agreed. Maybe. Yeah, I'm definitely sure. the first one. But these guys, I think I know I had them like relegation zone. I don't know about you guys though. After losing oh, Declan Rice, yeah, after I had them. Declan Rice, it yeah. looked. I had them. It low. looked stinky. It looked stinky. They had nobody to look forward to except maybe Paqueta, but like there was like you know the the gap between what they were expected to do and yeah. what they're doing now is is probably the biggest in the Premier League. Exactly. Right when David Moyes joined, their attack was abysmal, and yeah. now you're pulling up with. Kudus, Kudus, Bowen, yeah, like Paqueta. that's them who've been their best players. Just them two is like a scary yeah. attack. And then you buy players like James Ward Prowse and Aguerd, who have been very, very, very good for them. I, I agree. I think this is definitely a team in the A's. Yeah. Uh, they, and like this first half of the season, they've overperformed. I, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to perform second half of the season, but it's looking good. Yeah. And like an away fixture uh, for West Ham, it's like you, you might lose that game, yeah. you know? Like I, it's, I, it's a scary sight. I go into West Ham away thinking like I'd be okay. Like a draw is very possible. Exactly. Like, well, are you more scared to go play City or more scared to go play West Ham? Millie. Come on. 
Come Millie, on. Are you no, serious? I'm very serious. Hey, don't walk out. Do not walk out on me. You would say Man City. No, I would West say Ham. West Ham is scary. As a, if That's you're a crazy. top club, if you're a big club, like if you're a Liverpool, you're Bro, more Millie, scared to play the West Ham. walk off the set right now. No, walk off the no, set. No. You did not just say West yes. Ham away is harder than Manchester City away. I'm telling you right now, West Ham, if you're a top club, it's it's tougher to play those smaller clubs than the bigger clubs. Why? Millie, you have just been entered into our 23-24 worst takes of the year edition. Thank you, Millie. That is not, I don't Welcome, think Millie. take. Well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> no. You just left them hanging, whatever. Uh, Millie, I think that's absolutely crazy to say. Man City away is probably one of the hardest fixtures yeah. in the league. But Liverpool West Ham away. Is up there. Liverpool away also up there. If would you I, rather Liverpool away or would you rather West, uh, West Ham away? Liverpool away. If I'm Liverpool, I'd prefer to play City. And Millie, would you rather uh, Arsenal away or Sheffield United away? Friends, would you uh, prefer Monza away or Frosinone away? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. The last team is Wolves. They've been pretty decent this year. Let's hear the grades. Firms for a club that was expected to be in relegation zone. Yep. They, they find themselves 11th, almost in that top 10. I think a B plus or even an A minus is what I would give them. I'm going to say, I'm going to give them an A because Ooh. they changed managers before their first game of the season. Yeah, that was looking that, That's scary. probably the worst thing you could possibly do. And, at, and at the club. Gary O'Neill has been doing wonders with that squad. So the squad is really not that good. Like if you look at it on paper, it's really not that good. They lost Ruben Neves. Yeah. I mean, since Jean, Moutinho's, they, since Jean Moutinho's retirement, they've really not filled that void. So I, I'm definitely giving them an A. Massive would, over expectation. Yeah, I agree with you, Varvar. I'll go with a B plus though. I think they could have done a bit, like slight more, but their team was very bad. So at the same time, you know, like you, I adjust my expectations to exactly. it. But people like Lamina have been balling out. Like it's a pretty cool team. It's it's a fun team to watch in the sense that like you're watching players that are, are building their names yeah. as you're watching them. You yeah. Know? And just the fact that they're even in this position now when everyone thought they were going to be in a relegation zone, props to them. Kudos to all of them. Pretty good. And keep in mind, they lost Mateus Nunez to Manchester City also. So that's just adding just, to They it. just kept getting beaten into the ground. <laughs> Two big losses. And but did they spend that money? I feel like they didn't. Not that much. Yeah. Nothing. Hey, listen, I think for what they've done so far, pretty good. I think an A minus B plus is the solid answer. Let us know what you guys think and let us know the grade for your team down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.